working on Laguna. I have this, her skin all masked off with just the scotch uh, mounting putty. Made sure to dull coat it first. I have much darker green mixed up here. I'm doing a little bit of shading around each scale and a little bit of modeling. Since it's a, it's a really large scale, no pun intended, since it's such a big surface area, and you know, you want it to not just be a big solid green. really unnatural way for me to paint. I'm doing this to try to record it. So I'm already not liking this top down view I have to reach. And I should probably put a glove on so that I don't wear this paint off, even though I'm confident in the, the sound vinyl that it'll be. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know about this. Okay, well, let's try this. This is so large, I thought top down would work well. This seems like this might work. Here we go. Let's see. No, I'm still not in frame. Looks like I'm deciding to um, stick with this angle for now. Uh, I tried fooling around with the um, tripod and having it mounted behind me and above me looking down. This seems to work okay. I can uh, be somewhat close to the camera. So I did a lot more work. I just gave up on finding the right camera angle and I killed the battery in my phone here. So. I just kept on working. Okay, I've got the uh, darker color down on the um, edges of the scales here. What I'll do now is start spraying in some highlights. I actually already started over here. A better example will be on the on the leg. So I'm taking my airbrush and, and doing a similar thing as I did when I was doing the darker color. Just kind of modeling it around and doing it. Not just spraying heavily because it's it's a bit of a transparent color that I mixed up. Uh, I'm gonna build it up slowly. I think you can see here it's it's darker and then it gets slightly lighter as it gets to the to the top here. So I'm not hitting it in here at all. And then I kinda modeled it up and then you know got heavier in here and then keep going back over it keep going back over it until you 
you build it up until it's it's light and it's real subtle highlights um, and hopefully it's it's not too subtle and it's actually doing some some good here's my base color and then here's the the darker color I was shading with and then here's the real dark color it almost it looks black in the camera but it's a dark um, hunter green and then here's the color I'm spraying now it's sort of an exorcist puke pea green color I'm also trying to leave this area in here. And here is where I, I sprayed um, that bluer, that darker color. So I still want shading in there. I still want this to be even darker, but I want some shading in here. So I'm just trying to hit highlight in this area. Maybe bring it down a little bit and blend it with that. I'm gonna wanna hit everything with the wash. See these little dents? As I've been painting, they've been kind of naturally filling in and you mist over it and then they, they stay dark in there. And I started wondering if I'll, you know, if I could just leave that be. But, yeah, I gotta do a wash, man. You can't, you can't just airbrush stuff and then not do a wash. Okay, I've got another big time jump here, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying to just stay focused and get this kit finished because I keep it keeps taking me a little bit longer than uh, I anticipated, but that's, that's every kit, right? So I ran into this um, problem here and I couldn't figure out what the deal was, but I think I know, so her foot doesn't line up with the plug and um, it actually doesn't even sit all the way down on the ground and I think what what happened was when attaching the leg here if this is slightly up or down you know that's gonna affect how this sits so I'm probably lucky it's not worse than it is I'm basically just gonna have to putty all some putty on there and just build up the base a little bit it'll be okay what I would do is set this chair up onto the base and have it like this when you're attaching that leg you know put this um, put the left foot in place and then put some slow set maybe five minute epoxy or something and, and hold it in there while it dries and then that way it makes sure everything lines up here she is all finished I'm sure me trying to hold the camera steady here isn't doing her any justice, so I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out some pictures on my website. Please like this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my clumsy new channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and thanks for watching.